This is the 99 Ranger pickup that I bought recently for a spare vehicle. So to show you uh, what I do estimating for a customer, I'm just going to, I've written an estimate on this and I'm just going to run through it very quickly. Uh, I bought this car, this truck really cheap. It, I, I'm saying that because it looks better than it really is. The wheels were black when I got it, no reverse. Front seat was all broken. You could hardly even sit in it. Uh, I've done a huge amount of work to it. Didn't, not a lot of money, but a lot of work. And I'll just start with the hood. <clears throat> there's a small dent on the hood here. Now there's two tiny dents on the cab corners as well, so I'm just gonna lump all three of those together at half an hour. I've got an hour and a half on the fender. Uh, it's also pulled out here at the back, so that needs to be dealt with. Uh, just half an hour in the door, this door is pretty good. The box side, fiberglass, looks like. I haven't dug into it, doesn't really matter. It, you know, uh, fiberglass, plastic, metal doesn't matter the equal amount of damage is usually equal amount of time and I've, I've done it all in fact I have all the material here to fix any of that stuff rear bumper dent down there little one up top corner down here is bent in left box side more fiberglass damage than the other side so I've got an hour on the uh, right side half an hour in the tailgate, an hour and a half on the left box side. The door here, I've got an hour down on this door because there's three areas. It's, it's damaged down here, the edge is bent, then it's dented at the lock, and then somebody tried to break in so it's damaged up here. Left fender's good. The big damage is the roof. They had something up over the roof and damaged at the back and on the side here. Uh, caused the light and the back window to leak, which they cured immediately with silicone. There's no mold or any moisture damage inside. But the back window has to come out for painting anyway to clean up all this silicone. That's going to take a while. I got three and a half hours down to repair this roof. And not a lot of time, but it should be all right. Needs a new windshield. Cracked all the way across. So I'm just going to cut the molding off so that the paint will go around the edge when it's painted and then I'll get a new windshield put in right after the paint's done. So I've got nine and a half hours total for the repairs and <clears throat> you might you might have seen a lot of ads on Craigslist for cars for sale where it says clear coat peeling. 99% of the time that's because it wasn't painted properly. Guys are still masking cars when what they should be doing is removing the attached parts so that the edge where the paint stops is underneath something and protected from the elements, particularly the sun. Because that's, it's a catalyzed paint and it, it doesn't have great uh, adhesive properties, um, no pigment in it because it's clear. So that's what causes it to, uh, to peel. So I remove all the attached parts to paint the proper way to do it the only proper way to do it so uh, mud flaps emblems have to be removed door lock and handle the rubber around the windows mirror steps down there mud flap again emblem handle lights all that stuff has to come off windows not the sides, because they won't be touching once the rubber is gone. But the back window I have to take out anyway to do that repair. So there's an hour there. And then I'll cut, like I said, I'll cut this molding off and put a new windshield in. So that deals with that. Now there are ways around this removing all the parts. Sometimes, not all the time. And I know all the tricks because when I worked for ICBC, I had to go around to all the shops and teach them to save the corporation money. I didn't agree with all of it but I do know how to do it all. Bumper's pretty scarred up, but it's just paint damage. Now keep in mind, for the painting, it isn't just a matter of scuffing this thing and, and spraying the paint on. Oh, I forgot, the, uh, it has a box liner, so the top of the box liner, the edges will all have to be removed for the painting as well. So what I'm saying is everywhere there's a, a tiny scratch or chip or any damage on the paint, that has to be sanded out and primered before you can paint. It's a huge amount of work. I've also got an hour down to remove all this striping. I won't be putting that back on. So to remove all those parts and put them back on after it's painted to do the job properly, 
is 7.1 hours plus an hour for the striping to be removed and for the painting rather than do it the ICBC way or actually the way that that shops have always done it is the first uh, panel at three hours and like a hood at three hours and a roof's a big one so another three and then uh, two for a fender and two for a door two uh, you know two or two and a half for a box side an hour for each bumper you know it really adds up and I don't think it's fair to the customer when you're doing a whole vehicle there's just so much overlap so I just ballpark it for base coat clear coat and whatever polishing is necessary I'm I'm just putting down 20 hours on this and I think that's adequate and the materials the main reason I'm, I'm redoing this video I already did one and then I went and priced out the paint material uh, not only did they have a price reduction recently that I wasn't aware of but it's on sale right now the paint the clear coat the catalyst even the uh, thinner that I use to wash the equipment it's all $25 off each one is $25 off so you know I have to uh, put that down on the estimate at the current price could change in a week or two who knows but right now uh, I've only got $350 down for all the paint material any other material uh, the primer the um, you know masking any filler that's used that's all included in the $50 an hour that I am currently charging in my retirement shop I guess you could call it so the total uh, I've got 37.6 hours at $50 an hour and another uh, 20 hours for the paint that comes to $1880 labor and I estimate the paint material at $350 so the total cost on this is $2230 and that does it right this isn't you know you got to remember that the law only requires that automotive repairs be guaranteed for 90 days and I don't believe that's ever changed so you know the, uh, someone could easily you know do it cheaply and and you have no recourse later unless it's unless it's one of the bigger companies that has a guarantee and you know providing they they're willing to stand behind it but those those people generally do it right anyway that's why they charge a lot so anyhow twenty two hundred and thirty dollars uh it'll give you some idea don't just judge by the size of a dent that oh I have a dent that's smaller than that so I'm gonna pay way less it has a lot to do with access and the only way you're going to know how difficult it is to repair it uh, you cannot judge by size like I just said uh, you've got to be a tradesman a bodyman and this is this is where ICBC really falls down is they they hire a lot of people who aren't tradesmen to do this job and now they've sloughed this off to the the shops and do you think the shops are going to pay a tradesman to do estimating very few do that they hire guys for I can only guess you know fourteen dollars an hour maybe uh, anyhow that's on my website how I see BC cheats you dot com go there and check that out too twenty two hundred and thirty dollars and I'll have a pretty nice looking little truck this is the first video of four